Maps. Uh, I would like to present our new, our next uh, speaker. He's Paulo Barbosa, Brazilian like me, uh, and uh, he's a professor of mental health and scientific methods in the university, the uh, State University of Santa Cruz in Bahia, Brazil. Thank you very much for the presence of all. Um, uh, I would like to introduce myself a bit more. I'm an academic, I'm a professor of scientific methods, so the work I'm going to present today uh, is a bit more straight than the being presented. I think it may be a little boring for the... It's a, a, a little bit cruel uh, to, to present my work after that brilliant presentation. I'm sorry, but I'm an academic. <laughs> um, uh, my English is a little, a little bit poor, so uh, sorry for that too. What I'm going to present today is part of my PhD thesis in mental health. It's called um, Six Month Prospective Evaluation of Personal Traits, Psychiatric Symptoms, and Quality of Life in Ayahuasca Native Subjects. Uh, it was a uh, work that was uh, published in the Journal of Psychiatric Drugs in the issue September 2009. Uh, so Ayahuasca uh, is it, it, it was a surprise to know that most of you have the experience of ayahuasca, so I prepared this pre, uh, presentation for lay people, but uh, I, I didn't expect that so many people know ayahuasca red, so I have to introduce some basic uh, information. So uh, ayahuasca is a hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic beverage produced from the cocktail parts of two Amazon plants. The first one is the root of Banisteriopsis carapi, which contains harmon, harmon and hepatal other harmon. The second one is the leaves from Cicota viridis, which contains DMT. The ayahuasca is used for, um, mag has mag uh, used for magical religious purpose for all the Western Amazon basin, Miami region, and mysterious population since before, at least before uh, the year 2000 before Christ. Next. This is the roughly original geographic area of ayahuasca use. It comprises parts of uh, Venezuela, uh, Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, and the remaining Amazonian countries. Next. The ethnological descriptions have uh, of this society suggest that the ritual and cultural framework accompanying the use of ayahuasca directs the psychedelic experience towards positive consequences uh, in both personal and collective levels. These studies hypothesize that this framework uh, would structure the visionary experience towards a literal confirmation of the group's ethos and worldview, which would have sociotherapeutic functions. This picture has dramatically changed over the last 30 years, during which the use of ayahuasca spread from the Amazon to major cities in Brazil, as well as to Europe and North America. As it occurs with many exotic and foreign behaviors introduced into mainstream dominant cultures, um, the, the religious use of ayahuasca generated controversies, worries concerning public health, and was subjected to lawsuits. Next. Uh, it turned out that these lawsuits were decided in favor of ayahuasca religions in the US and Europe. In Brazil, where are thousands of urban ayahuasca users, federal regulatory uh, commissions upheld a favorite decision for the ritual uh, use of ayahuasca. Uh, as these judicial uh, decisions are expected to significantly increase the religious use of ayahuasca worldwide, mental health evaluation of urban ayahuasca users are needed. This is the, the methods of the study. Um, uh, it was conducted in, lar in two large cities uh, of, in southeastern Brazil, São Paulo and Campinas, and was conducted also in two major ayahuasca regions, which was União do Vegetal and Santo Daime, which was in the Sefluris branch of Santo Daime. This was the um, design. It was a prospective assessment of new ayahuasca users. Uh, 
the strongest point of this study it, 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 that it was that uh, subjects were evaluated before their first ayahuasca experience. Um, also, we were evaluated to, at uh, 7 and 14 days after the first ayahuasca experience and, and 6 months after the first ayahuasca experience. Uh, the, the first uh, evaluation is called T0 or T2 T0. T0. The second is T1 or T time 1. The, second, the third is T2 or time 2. This is where the variables measured. The psychiatric symptoms were evaluated at T0, T1 and T2. Quality of life were evaluated at T0 and T2 and personality traits are evaluated at T0 and T2. Next. And these were the measures I used to evaluate the symptoms. Uh, it is a scale, a uh, structured scale that measures the intensity of minor psychopathological symptoms. Uh, this comprises somatic symptoms, fatigue, difficulties in concentration, sleep problems, irritability, preoccupation with body functions, depression, depressive ideas, worry, anxiety, Computions, obsessions. And to evaluate the quality of life, uh, I use the health survey uh, short form 36 items. Uh, it is a self related questionnaire designed to evaluate the following domains of quality of life physical functioning, rural emotional, bodily pain, general health, vitality, social functioning, rural emotional, and mental health. To evaluate the personality traits, uh, I, I use the, the Kroninger's temperament and character inventory. This is a self related questionnaire uh, which generates the scores for the following domains of personality traits novelty seeking, reward dependence, harm avoidance, persistence, self directedness, cooperativeness, and self transcendence. And these were the independent variables. Uh, it uh, was the intensity of ritual ayahuasca use. Uh, this, this means that how many times they had attended ayahuasca rituals throughout the follow up period. And the religious group, Union de Vertal or Santo Daime, and the was shout at T2, which means the length of time additional between their last ayahuasca experience and T2. And this is the profile of the subjects who completed the study at T2. Uh, it was 30, 33 subjects, uh, 15 from Santo Daime and 8 from UDV. You can see that the UDV subjects were a little bit older than, UDV, than the Santo Daime subjects and that they have backwards and high school degrees, which in Brazil is a major sign of pertaining to upper middle classes. Next. The uh, original sample was 28 subjects, but five subjects dropped out between T1 and T2. Uh, in Santo Daime, one suffered in an intercurrent myocardial infection, one failed to appear for the scheduled interview, one moved abroad, and one was lost a follow-up. In UDV, one uh, dropped out with, uh, due to an unrelated stressor. And these are the results. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the results concern the intensity of ayahuasca use for the follow-up period. We divide the sample between regulars and irregulars. The regulars were people who had attended uh, 10 or more ritual ayahuasca uh, across the follow-up period and had uh, four or less uh, workshop period at T2. And the irregulars uh, were people who attended less than 10 uh, ayahuasca rituals throughout the follow-up period and had more than four weeks wash out that T2. You can see that UDV folks were more regular than the, UDV, the Santo Daime folks and that the, at the final point of the follow-up, uh, six months later, only 22% only uh, had affiliated to the religion of the total sample. Next. These are the results of uh, minor psychiatric symptoms between T0, T1, and T2. Remember that the cutoff point of this scale is 11, 12, meaning that 12 or greater means that the subject uh, deserves a clinical attention. They have a psychiatric disorder. So the, the situation of Santo Daime people were uh, a, a, bit, they were a little bit situation T0. They were not, you know, not very good according to this measure. But the situation has changed. Uh, the improvement uh, uh, between T0 and T1. And the, the interesting thing was that this improvement was kept, was maintained at T2. Um, the total sample also showed an improvement between T0 and T1. Um, oh. No. <laughs> Four. Yes. Yes. 
and this is the, the total sample. They show the improvement between T0 and T1. And you can see that UDV folks were in a very good mental health state at T0 and just did not change significantly between the four time points. Next. These are the results between the irregulars and irregulars. Yeah, the only significant result here was uh, that the regulars showed a significant improvement between T0 and T1. Next. And this is the results of quality of life and personality traits between T0 and T2. Sample diamonds show a, show a significant improvement of mental health uh, across the follow-up time point and had a decrease uh, a score in how the avoidant behavior. And UDV showed uh, the, uh, improvement in bodily pain of uh, dimension of culture of life and showed a decreased score in UR dependent behavior. This decrease was correlated to the intensity of ayahuasca use and with the washout period. That's to say, the greater the number of uh, ayahuasca rituals, the greater the decrease, and the shorter the washout period, the greater the decrease. The total sample also showed a decrease in reward dependent score, and this was also correlated to the intensity of ayahuasca use. Next. <coughs> this is the result of the quality of life and personality traits at T0. You can see that the Santo Daimio sample was worse than UDV in social functioning, role emotion, and mental health domains of, of quality of life than the UDV sample. And that the Regulars uh, showed a higher score in reward dependent behavior than the regulars. Next. And this is the result of quality of life and personal traits at T2. Uh, there was no longer difference between Santo Daime and UDV samples in quality of life domain. However, Santo Daime uh, sample scored higher in novelty seeking domain of personal traits, and, and the regulars uh, scored better in the, the, than the irregulars at the social functional and role emotional, role emotional domains of quality of life. And the irregulars also score higher in self-directed and behavior than the irregulars. Next. The graph shows the correlation between the improvement of psychiatric symptoms uh, and quality of life domain of, uh, domain, mental health domain of quality of life in Santo Daime group. This, this means that this was a very consistent improvement because it was detected by two different scales. Next. And this, this graph shows the correlation between the improvement in psychiatric symptoms and the diminishment of harm avoidant behavior. This is an interesting finding because the harm avoidant behavior is a trait of personality related to anticipatory worry and uh, anxious personality and maybe the emotional improvement had contributed to the diminishment of this kind of behavior. Next. Well, uh, the, the, the first conclusion is, was that the, the law of relation rate called the attention to the fact that the retrospective studies which uh, evaluate the affiliated people, the regular users, uh, may be uh, missing for the evaluation of many ayahuasca users. Next. And the second major finding was the positive results after the ayahuasca use, which raised the question of the supposed therapeutic effects of ayahuasca. However, uh, the absence of correlation between the intensity of ayahuasca use points to a complex interplay between the psychedelic experience, pharmacology, and multifactorial aspects involved in the religious healing. The first factor is the spontaneous emission. People may improve the spontaneity, which is a very common phenomenon in the description of religious healing. The second phenomenon, the second factor, is the social support. Ayahuasca religions, are, uh, as other religion, religions, may uh, uh, offer some kind of social support to the attenders. And it has been described that psychosocial support can promote health and fellowship in times of stress and may diminish the impact of anxiety and other negative emotions. The third uh, factor is the cognitive reframing, which means that religious beliefs, a strong belief in a re superior reality, a God, can enhance acceptance and endurance and, and resilience. And the fourth and final uh, factor is the suggestibility, which is a very, very frequent phenomenon in the psychedelic experience and may enhance the acceptance to the positive messages of rituals and also enhance the acceptance of the fetch cognitive reframing that helps people to handle difficult situations. Next. Next. Well, further students should consider larger samples because this is a very small sample which, uh, which difficult the generalization of the findings. 
and they also should consider 